Yeah. Boink. Yeah, this... With this scale, I want to kind of want to go too, but I can always go back and change it. So we'll do it like this. We'll just... We'll throw these in and see what it looks like. Yeah, those cactuses, those cacti are not going to survive. <laughs> uh, so sorry, cacti. You's gonna die. Let's just go ahead and get these. Yeah, the slab really helps add thickness to it. Yeah, I was making that way more complicated. I should just be doing it like this. Oh, I love this bridge, and it's one color. It's one color, and it looks great. It's usually just building with one color. It's like, bleh. But this looks good. I love this. I won't build it if I don't love it. If I build it in creative and I don't like it, you guys will never see it. I'm thinking about actually maybe doing a creative Minecraft series. I was kind of doing that before. A long, 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 long time ago, I had a series kind of like that. But I actually like the infusion of building stuff in creative and then doing it in survival. And that's what confuses some people about this series. Is their thought, like, oh, I thought this was a creative, or I thought this was survival. Like, why aren't you going around killing things? Well, I try to. And sometimes you get sick of that. And then when you're building stuff, sometimes you get sick of that too. So then you want to go out and kill things. Trust me, at some point, we will go kill things. And I'm hoping that I can actually spawn some stuff in here. And again, if I can make one or two of those towers a mob spawner, I've never done I've never done that. I have, I have no idea where to even start with something like that. We'll do it. We'll totally do it. Because one, we need the XP. And two, we need mobs to fight. And how awesome would it be for just a zombie to fight a zombie horde on the Golden Gate Bridge? Right? Oh, I thought they fixed it. Let's look away from it. And then turn around. It's still there. <laughs> we'll update it. See? Hmm. Weird. So yeah, we're running 1434D. Uh, thought they thought they took care of that. Oh yeah. And so I think we're just gonna build it into the into the ground over there. Why not? Let's step back and take a look. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> you, I can see it good underground, underwater, because see, I have this helmet that has uh, respiration on it. So that was the other thing I was thinking about, too, was that I kind of wanted to keep it in tune with the actual Golden Gate Bridge, but think about this. Um, think about... Like a mo like a movie set. So so from one side you see one side you see um just the ocean, like you normally would the Golden Gate Bridge, and then you turn around and there's just like a crew of people <laughs> standing there and it's like that's what I want to go for. I want I want this is almost like Universal Studios. That's kind of where I'm taking this this season of Survival Minecraft. It's a movie set. And so Hollywood spent, gosh, who knows how much money building this half or quarter scale replica of the Golden Gate Bridge. Why? Because they can. Because they can. So, you know, you've got you've got this scale here, and then you turn around, and then there's just like a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, those cables really add stuff to it. And yeah, I think we're right about the ground there. Yeah, getting back to uh, Gen Con, it was fun. I'm glad I went. Uh, I was reluctant at first, but I kind of just thought, you know what? I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna be on a like a very uh, rigid schedule, and it worked out. It worked out. I met a lot of really cool pe new people. And if I had pretty much been flying on my own schedule and just with a crew or with somebody else. Some of those uh, meetings would have never happened. Oh, we already had a lot of cobblestone. Well, we're going to need tons of it anyways. Oops, there we go. 
And so far we haven't had a need of any torches. It seems kind of thin. What part seems kind of thin? Yes, I am... I am Maverick. From Top Gun. That is my Minecraft skin. I'm also... I don't know if my... Yeah. I do take the pants off. And... I'm also Volleyball Maverick, <laughs> which is what we need to do. We need to totally build a volleyball court over here so I can jump and hit hit the volleyball <laughs> and play Kenny Loggins. Play that volleyball with them boys. Oh, Tony Scott, rest in peace. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is going to be the actual width of the bridge. <laughs> yeah. So originally this was only three blocks wide, and then it was originally five blocks wide, and then the road became seven blocks wide. So yeah, that happened. And I'm using cobble. Uh, I thought about if there was... Oh. I'm not sure how that happened, actually. That's... That was kind of weird. Um, oh, I can't walk underneath that. Um, so I thought about using other materials. Uh, if there was... I wish there was clay half slabs. The second they put clay half slabs in this game, well, we could have... I'm, I'm kind of glad they don't at this point because I would have probably used clay half slabs for the... I guess these are called struts. That's what I'm going to call them. But this adds texture from a distance. See how those add texture? I like it. I like it quite a bit, actually. So, um, I would probably use black stained. Some people would probably say use wool, but I don't want it to catch on fire. I don't... I guess it would catch on fire. I don't know. There's just not a true black block other than coal. And coal would be so expensive. And I'm not made of that stuff at the moment. Oh yeah, we got to cut down this tree too. Come on. Let's get up on this. Get down on it. Get down on it. And of course I won't build the cable until I build the next tower. Which we might take care of today. Didn't think we would, but... It's not late. Probably stream for at least another 30 minutes. Definitely always like to stream for two hours. Let's people come and go. Let's conversations flow. There we go. So this won't be the necessarily the end of the bridge. I'll probably let this go out a little bit more. And then I'll build a big, at least, maybe a 15, nah, maybe not 15, 11 block, big square. I don't know. This is 7, probably 9 by 9 square now that I think about it. Yeah, probably 9 by 9 Just because. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and get this wood. So, this is the width of the bridge. You can get a good idea of that. I tell you what. We will build another partial part of the tower after I get some of this road laid down. I 
think we'll go with these. So yeah, nothing will spawn on this, but what would be really fun is to have things fall and maybe make them so they're partially weakened and then have like open the floodgates and have those guys come at me so they're not as strong. So a, like a huge horde of them would be fun, but I don't know. I've never built a, a mob spawner. Of course, it would be loud, but I'll look into that. I think we might do that. That would be a fun little thing to have. I, I immediately thought, oh yeah, we could. We we'll, we want mobs to spawn on this thing, so I'm not going to put any lights on it. And then I realized that most of it is half slabs. So, like, they technically couldn't spawn on this because it's half a slab. They won't spawn on any of these because they have something already on them. You know what, let's just go ahead and get this road out of the way so we, there's no question on where we're landing or where we're going. Just get this done. Dang it, another half, half a heart. ay 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 well, of course, I have to think of a better way of getting up here. Yeah. So the picture I'm looking at over here is actually a picture of what it looks like in creative. And I'm inspired. I think we're doing good. What was really funny about Gen Con was that that was the Saturday was the first Colts preseason home game, and I was at the convention center for uh, quite some time. I was out actually there till about twelve o'clock, maybe even later than that. And so a lot of the Colts fans were kind of cutting through the convention center to get to the stadium. So it was all these cosplayers and you know geeks just dressed up, you know, or just dressed down, however you want to put it. And, uh, so it was all these players in Colts jerseys, or these, uh, fans in Colts jerseys mixed in with all these cosplayers and stuff. And t probably to the Gen Con attendees, the Colts fans didn't look weird or different, but probably to the Colts fans, they were probably trying to figure out what in the world is going on. It was pretty entertaining. Yeah, they were wearing football cosplay. So yeah, you you know, you can't really point your finger at one or the other. They were, they were supporting their fandom. I just thought it was kind of funny. From one perspective, one is not so different, you know, or weird. Although, I was there, so whatever. <laughs> I was there for both. Did go to the game. But yeah, it was pretty, pretty funny. Oops. And this year was another record-breaking year for Gen Con. So, and they're running out of space again. Um, they actually built like 11,000 more square feet for Gen Con, but... They used it this year, so I don't know where they're going to expand to. They actually expanded to all the hotels. Honestly, if there was not preseason football going on, they could probably expand it to this football stadium and fill that up pretty quick. So I don't know what they're going to do next year. I think they said it was a 14% increase on attendees. I can't remember what they said their single-day attendance record was, but it was... I don't actually think it was Saturday. I want to say it was probably Friday, but I could be wrong about that. It just felt so busy on Friday. Maybe it was Saturday. I, it, after a while, that all just blends together. But yeah, PopCon. I didn't go. I didn't get to PopCon, which sucked. I can't remember what I was doing. I think I was out of town. I can't remember what I was doing, but. Definitely plan on going next year. 
oh, you know what? Horrible night. Uh, we canceled our appearance there. And I think that kind of just took the took the, wi the wind from, from my wings, and I just kind of decided not to go, whoa, that looks weird. Lighting glitch. You know, I saw Andrew Luck cosplay. I, s I didn't see any Hasselbeck cosplay. Um, of course, there was still plenty of Peyton Manning cosplay, which... Whatever, that's that's people's thing. He's he's gone, but never forgotten. Think 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 we we Colts fans have a pretty uh pretty decent uh, guy taking that place right at the moment. But there's some people that still be like, Bleh. it's like whatever, whatever. I was a Peyton Manning fan, but I am a Colts fan first. If Reggie Wayne were to go somewhere else, then I would be, probably be following whatever that team is, but so far, so good. He looks like he's coming back this year, too, pretty strong, so I'm pretty happy about that. Although, they're they're asking if he's going to play this Saturday, and I think they should just let him keep resting. I don't, he's, dude's been playing for a long time. I think he'll be all right. Come game day. So I think what we'll do here is we'll build a partial uh, other tower. And I've got something that I need to do cosmetically underneath it. And then we will build up if I'm still feeling like it. I'm feeling all right, so I think we'll just keep going. Of course, cutting this into a video is going to be fun. This might be a multiple parter. <laughs> yeah, Peyton Manning's definitely not in his 60s. <laughs> but I get what you're saying. And it's great. It's great that Peyton was able to recover and, and come back and be as strong as he was and then just choke in the Super Bowl. But you know what? Had to make that decision. And it wasn't quite uh, one of those decisions that I think was a solid one to stick with him. So everything just kind of played out the way it did. The suck for luck is pretty much what people still refer to it as. I think the Colts came out pretty well on that deal. Pretty well indeed. Alright, let's do this. I think we'll keep the sugar cane down here. I think it looks pretty good. Take this stuff out. Okay. So we need to come out. Let's go ahead and eat before we forget. Okay, this stuff is actually just going to be in the way for the meantime. We'll we'll put it back prettier up. And then of course we'll have to make this a little bit more realistic. You know what? I never thought about putting vehicles on the bridge, but I think you're right. I think we need to do that. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll put we'll put some vehicles on there. There's plenty of designs for that stuff out there. Let's see. This should be this corner here. Nope. <laughs> Fail. No, that's right. Or wait, no. We should be the one, two, yeah, we were three away from this. Gosh, this. Sorry, I'm clapping right in the microphone. This gnat just f keeps flying in my face.
Well, we already got a boat, so. There we go. Okay. Whee! Now, I don't think it's or uh, It's obviously not all the way down underwater, this color, so. I'll have to figure that one out. So we'll just put this in temporarily. So that's just the outside. Okay, so then that re reference the piece of paper again, my little grid. Actually, here, let, let me show you. There's my drawing. Let me switch my life cam settings. Auto focus. Alright, here we go. There we go. So, there you can kind of see the number in the circle, the full circle, so like 105, that's how many, that's the height that I need to go, and then the number in parentheses is the number of blocks I need to make that happen. And then of course the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is how many blocks away it is, and then it says here 510 blocks per tower, around 8 stacks, and then the road sits on 71. So this is kind of how... I dream things out. So I like to I like to show you guys how's I do things. Let's switch it back over to Minecraft. Minecraft. Cause I don't really get to show you guys um I don't really get to show you guys that stuff in my regular series, you know, my regular YouTube videos. So I like to give you guys a little bit of a taste. Mmm, a little taste of JPT. That sounds dirty. But I like it. I like the graph paper. Sometimes it's confusing, but it usually works out. And then this one goes like that. Oops. Again, not final design, just just enough to do what I need to do over here. All right. It's going to bother me. <laughs> I got to get it to a certain height. Otherwise, it just drives me crazy. But the middle stuff in between the towers as you go up is all going to be wood. Oh, dang it. Hey, Friday Rose, how you doing? We're building the Golden Gate Bridge. As seen in many, many a movie. Let's just go over this way and do it. Can we fall? Ah, I took another half heart of damage. But it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Uh, again, no regen. Regen is turned off. That is just how I'm rolling this season. Aw, oh, dang it. So luckily we are near the water. <laughs> the <laughs> Jordan is just never going to give up the wedge. There we go. This is a danger creative series. That's pretty much what this is. Okay, so let me step back for those of you new 
and are being quiet in chat. Bam! Golden Gate Bridge. What would you say this is? About... Oh, this is probably... 40% done? Eh, probably more than 40. It's all the attention to detail stuff. So we got another tower to build, just like that. Then we got to get the in-between stuff, and then we got to build another cable like this on the other side. And then, of course, we got to build those. I had, in the Horrible Night series, I had the original wedge, and then I had a wedge for my horse. And then in my Attack of the B-Team series, I had the wedge that was a spaceship. And you guys keep talking about it so much, it's starting to make me think again. But yes, the original one I did on the HorribleNight.com server. Let me see if I can find another... There we go. All right. Oh, we got to build the road out. Yeah, the Attack of the B-Team one was buried. And there was just so much stuff that I could have done with it. My, I blame microblocks. Microblocks pretty much ruined my life for a very long time, so I had to walk away from it. I was getting really burnt out. And very stressed out by the whole thing. That's alright. I like people chatting in my chat. That's why they call it a chat room. Let's just get rid of this stuff that I don't need. There we go. And... Uh, sorry. There's almost like a vomiting turnaround thing there. Alright. So again... Time to do this. So that's my center block. So if you look at any pictures from underneath the bridge, there's these support struts that go across. And there you go, take another thing of damage. So I built this in creative. So that's the center of one of them. And then we'll get rid of this one. Let's see, get rid of that. Gosh, that gnat is back. So annoying. Okay. You know, there's a bunch of clay around here. I never thought about using that. Yes, horrible night was vanilla. It was old vanilla. Oh, yeah, that's not going to work. I'm like hunting the gnat now. This is the worst way to do this. Don't ever build like this, kids. What am I doing? All right, let's start over. We'll use dirt. <laughs> we'll use dirt to support our habit. Jeez. Ah, I just smacked myself in the face. <laughs> I was going to smack the mic. Ugh, that was stupid. Uh, yeah, you can get rid of gnats with pickle juice. They will, my, my wife knows all about it. Yep, vinegar. Yep, my wife had them really bad in her uh, 
college apartment. She got really good at trapping them. Oh yeah, this is better. There we go. And then it goes like a soul. Yeah, there's no there's no trash up here. It's just it's just because it's warmed up outside. They're they're getting around a little bit more than usual. She, she figured out how to get rid of them pretty good. I don't like anything vinegary, so that was fun getting used to smelling all the time. Ta-da! That was way more complicated than it needed to be. I have golden apples. Whoa, sorry about that. Oh, can't get out from underneath here. There we go. Let's go and get rid of this dirt. We don't need this anymore for our center line. There we go. Get rid of all this stuff. Although I guess we probably need to keep this light here so that way things don't spawn. That would be very bad. Let's go ahead and get some torches laid down. Oops. There we go. I do live under the Golden Gate Bridge. So those are the struts. I mean, I'm not super happy with the way those are, but that's kind of how they look. I'm okay with it. I wonder if I do this. Yeah, it's going to do that weird block thing, which I suppose is okay. Of course, I can't get underneath it that way. Yeah, I don't want to move the chest room, but I will if I come up with a better idea. I actually saw that they were filming um, Ant-Man in San Francisco, which partially, I guess, inspired me to build this. Ah, oh, dang it. I like that they're releasing pictures while shooting. There we go. Of movies like that. I think that really gets the hype machine going. Let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff and be legit. But yeah, I think I'll put vines up. Inspired by... Those, uh, those ape movies. But, yeah, so that's just kind of where we are with this thing at the moment. Let's see, going on... Uh, we've got about ten minutes away from two hours solid, because the intro music I play is always about four minutes. Almost five. Ah, jeez. Well, I didn't get any heart damage there. Um... Um, 
Yeah, so what'll be funny is I'll I'll pretty this up and then I'll rough it up to make it uh, match a little bit better. You know what? I kind of want I want my dogs to be over here. We need to go. We need to go check on those guys. I'm running out of my my beverage. So I don't know about anybody else, but when I go to a restaurant or like a fast food establishment. They always try to jip you off by not giving you, they give you like a ton of ice and then they hardly give you any kind of drink. But legally, at least in the places I go to, ugh, legally they're supposed to keep the carbonated beverages at a certain temperature so there's no reason, unless you're going to not be near your drink for a while, to just get it without ice. And so if you get it without ice, you ended up getting a lot more for your money. That is just a tip. But yeah, I don't know why people, more people don't ask for no ice. It's weird, and like sometimes when you say no ice, the people working kind of look like, look at you like you're crazy. And it's just like, I'm not crazy. You're crazy for giving me ice. They look at you like you kind of ask them for uh, you know, their firstborn or something. It's like, no, just give me no ice. <laughs> so if you want to get more bang for your buck, ask for no ice. If you're taking it home, you've got ice at home. Put in your own dang ice. You know what, we're going to have to get more clay, because that is not going to be enough. I can tell you that right now. Let's go ahead and dump out some of this stuff. So we're done with the road. That's good. Get those torches back. Don't think we'll need those ladders. I'll take that stuff just to be safe. Really haven't needed that yet. Yeah, that's where that's that was before. To, well, before tonight, my wife always asks for no ice because she knows how I am. I did go to Taco Bell yesterday, actually, uh, because I was actually helping a friend paint outside, and then it started raining on us. And then uh, I thought we were going to grab a bite to eat, but we never did. Um, and so, um, sorry, I'm looking, I need to look at this upside down now. I, uh, ended up going there and asking for no ice, and that's where they kind of looked at me strange when I got up to the window. I, again, don't quite understand why it's such a weird thing, but if you want to get your share of diabetes, ask for no ice, because it's America. I earn my sodas. You know what we might do? So we might just build this one side. and then build the middle stuff so you guys can see that and I can finish the rest off camera yeah Taco Bell's my guilty pleasure I try not to drink a lot of soda during the week, but you know how that goes sometimes. I drink my fair share of water. A lot of times I'll drink a Sprite in the morning because I am a radio guy, so sometimes you need a little something to tickle your your throat to uh, get things going. that has no caffeine in it so I really try to stay away more from the 
lack of caffeine than anything else. But some mornings, you know, you just can't help it. All right, so that's 114 there. And that's right there. So we only have 31 more blocks. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more clay. Okay, what are you referring to seeming a little thin? The bridge, I mean, it's not to scale. If I went one more wider out, it would just cause me some other kind of, it would cause me a few other issues. But, yeah, again, <laughs> scales, models, that kind of stuff. It's just kind of what we're doing. But uh, this is roughly what we're working with, guys. That is what we're working with. And we, uh... Yeah, it's good. It's good. I like it. Trust me, I, I was in creative and I... I tried every angle... possible. It, it, imagine it Imagine it only three three of this wide. Imagine it, the bridge being here. That's how, that's how wide it was originally. And now it's this wide? Yeah, it's wide enough. Have you ever been on the Golden Gate Bridge? It's not a very wide bridge. Think about what was driving on it back when it was made. Model T's. Again, it's it's all in your imagination. It's a movie. It's a movie set. It's a model. It's kind of what the idea is. Quit being so picky. Yeah, it's it's uh it's a pretty th narrow bridge. And you know what? There's even a walking path on it that I didn't even think about. We might even put that in on the sides. Uh, I don't know about that. This is Minecraft. This is my imagination. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, we needed a lot of this. That stinking net. It is right, and it is beautiful. No one can tell me any different. All right. Let's see. Ah, I have to redo all of this underneath. Wait. All righty. So, this is the part that was making this a little bit more complicated for me. So we have to go 10 up. Let's see. Yeah. You know what? Let's just do it this way. There we go. You have a really weird imagination, I must say, Jordan. Okay, so if you look at the bridge, the opening is, so the opening of the bridge is really tall, like where you drive underneath, it's really tall, and then the next tier is a little bit taller, and then the next one's uh, basically a square, or like more rectangular, like more square than rectangular, and then the one on the top is a very, very uh, square kind of shape. So that's what we're going to do here. If I'm doing this right, I need to reference a better image. So I'm looking at, let's see, F3. I'm looking at, yep, I'm looking at the right block. Very good. So that is what that looks like. So this goes across this way. Whoa, that's weird. The perspective on this is really freaking my eyes out. This isn't going to be perfect. These are just 
Some ideas I had. Alright. So that's at least two blocks tall. Like a soul, and then I can't tell. It's hard to tell here if it's like this. I think that's right. I think that's right. Sorry, I'm being quiet. Kind of thinking this one out. Let's look at this. to eat something before we turn around and look at this thing. Are the sounds okay for you guys? I forgot I started doing it differently. Okay, that looks weird because this isn't there. So I, I quickly apologize for that. Uh, yeah, that looks really weird without the clay on that one side. Uh, it's going to take some time getting used to. And then, let's see. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Oops. I want to find you and smack you in the face, Jordan. I mean that with all the respect in the world. It's because I love you. There we go. Yeah, that's going to bother me. We just ran out of clay. I'll have to get some more. Here. This will help. We'll just... Do this as high as it allows us. And that's as high as it's going to get. Guess we could put dirt in its place if you'd like me to. Oh, yeah, that's better. You can get a better idea. Oh, and of course it's raining. Oh, we'll sleep. Let's sleep. That's kind of scary that I sleep with a wither face looking at me every night. It's like a dream catcher. Or a nightmare catcher. So that's just one of them, and they're all different. They're all different, but let's go. I'll, I, I want to do. I want to do all these before calling it quits. So yeah, okay. So I know which ones I need to get up to. this on 90. Ooh, we went a little too high. Let's see. Is that right? I believe it is. Let me go back. 
This kind of looks like the, this is this one I call the bow tie because it looks exactly like that. It looks exactly like a bow tie. I want to say there's a fence that goes like that, and then one that goes across. Oh, is that right? Yes, I think that's right. Oh, good. I thought we ran out. That's right, okay. It's like looking at these reference images, staring them long enough, and then you figure things out. Pretty sure that's what we need to do. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I think that's right. Uh, we'll find out. Of course, this is a creative screenshot, so I'm like really close to it. Keep in mind that's the last block. Should probably change it to something else that doesn't require a shovel. Ooh, that looks not right to me. Maybe that is right. I'll have to cross-reference it later. But that's the second support. So it's, you know, big rectangle here and then sort of rectangular, not quite a square. Pretty much the same thing goes for the one on top of it. Yeah, I think that's right. And then the one above it. We'll do that one. So I'll just do the back of it later. I just want to get the framing up, ready to go. So I went really far away to get my clay. We have to just stay closer to home. Get the rest of it. So what I did was when I took, oh, dang it, when I took my screenshots, I, um, they have this feature now where it says looking at, and so I referenced the bottom block. So like, I know that that is going to be 100 and, 101, and then I've got blocks that I can follow. So I know exactly where that block needs to be placed, which is cool. I know these go across like this. I like that feature. It really helps us creative guys out. And then I'm pretty sure... Let's see. One, two... Oops. Pretty sure this is right. Yep, that one's right. We'll just go ahead and go all the way up. And reference the top, which is this one, which goes in. So like the, the it kind of thins up at the end. Um, 
So I'm not, this one I'm not super gung-ho about. I might make it so that it's just thinner. But we'll see. And I know that this just goes across like so. Thank goodness I'm not terrified of heights in this world. Yep, that's it. Oops. There we go. And that lock can just stay up there. So this will give you a really good idea of the overall structure of the bridge. There we go. We'll step back and take a look. Hopefully this is right. So there you go. Oh man. I like it. I'm a really big fan. I really like the design. Wonder if we should celebrate with golden apples. Because the idea is not to die, obviously. But you got a little bow tie here, and then you got a little strut here, and then you got a square here. So it's definitely a you know more of a square here, then a little bit longer, and then longer, and then really long. It's not perfect. It could be a little bit taller, but I had pretty much tied myself to this number for the cable. But I like it. I think it looks cool. What do you guys think? Streaming for over two hours now. I think we've accomplished quite a bit already. Again, we need to go find some more clay. Yeah, it's got bulk to it. Uh, so I'll do the I'll do the backside. I'll do the backside later of this stuff here. So as you can see, it pretty much it has. I, I think it looks great. I'm very happy with it. But uh, let's see. Is there any clay in here? I think I wanted to pretty much stay away from decimating this because it looks pretty. Yeah, the clouds look weird. I think you're just joking. But I kind of think the clouds look funky. Something's going on with them. Let's go ahead and use respiration. Oh my gosh, if we ever needed gravel, this is the place to get it. I forgot about that. But Oh wait, here we go. I knew there was some clay. Let's go ahead and go up here and come down and grab this clay. Of course, this is going to take forever. Because we're underground. Yeah, maybe, maybe this will give us enough. Do I have fortune on this? No, I don't. Wait, I do have fortune on this, though. So, we have two now. It's going to take a little bit longer, but maybe. This gives us four. That gives us six. Yeah, we'll just we'll use this. <laughs> we'll use the axe. It takes us longer, but... It's going to yield in a higher result. Or wait, do we have... Oh, we have Fortune 3 on that. Is, is this any faster? It doesn't feel that way, does it? Yeah, we'll use this. Yeah, I actually think this feels a little bit faster. Oh, 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 don't choke, don't choke, don't choke. Don't choke, don't choke, don't choke. Woo! Woo! You get so used to not having to come up for air. That was way close. We could have died there. Man, it is super dark on my TV. I apologize. Nothing I can do about it. Maybe. Yeah, brightness is turned all the way up. It's dark on my monitor, so... 
That's just what happens when you go underwater. It'd be even darker if I took my Death Strider off, or not Death Strider, my respiration off. Let's get up here just to be safe. Um. Yeah, we, we're gonna have to have a lot more clay, which sucks. This is, so we have exactly two stacks of that. Let's see how much more we can get from this little pile here. So yeah, I do want to uh, sort of just publicly thank everybody for their donations so far. Uh, I put that donation link up maybe maybe less than a month ago, and a lot of you have donated from the link on my videos and uh, below in the live stream link and uh, I know that was really important to some of you uh, to, to support me just for uh, what you feel it has been entertainment and uh, I just wanted to again say thanks to everyone for helping me out in that uh, in that way it's not something that I that I asked for but it's something that you guys had asked about so Seems like it's been a pretty uh, popular thing, not only here in the household, but uh, kind of just something that was received really well. So again, thank you guys so much for your donations. Uh, don't expect it. I, I do this for me, uh, but it doesn't hurt. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's pretty nice to see those emails come in when I wake up, and every little donation counts. So. All goes towards uh, keeping things running here. In the video game side of things. Alright, so out of all that, how much did we get? What, almost three stacks? Yeah, not bad. Too shabby, and it is nighttime. Let's go shoot some stuff. Let's go find something and fight it. That wasn't it. Oh, yeah. Come on, buddy. Hey. Oh. I heard a spider. Do you hear the spider? I heard the spider. Oh, you can see the bridge. Can you see the bridge, zombie? Do you love it? I love it. Shot the face. You're dead. Give me your flesh. Oh, you can't handle this. Aww. Yep, I officially love it. Love it, love it, love it. It'll look even better without those ladders on it, I must say. We'll take care of that. Like I said, I'll probably end up putting vines on it. We'll kind of run her down a little bit. If you haven't seen the new Planet of the Apes movie, go see it. It's still out in theaters. Well worth your monies. Oh, yeah. Look at that beauty. Mmm. Tasty. Tasty morsels. I wonder how many blocks we're actually going to get out of this. Mmm. Not a whole lot. 44. Hey, that'll do. One, two, one, two. Let's go around the clock. There we go. At some point, other than trading, I know that rotten flesh is going to come in handy. So I'll just keep collecting it. Go ahead and sleep. The acacia wood has actually held out longer than I thought it would. But yeah, we live under the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. That's really funny. But I have to figure out how I'm going to pretty this up. I'll do something for it. Yeah, what are you doing awake, ghost? It's, it's late-ish here for me. 
building the Golden Gate Bridge. I like it. Good stuff. Go ahead and get some screenshots just in case I need a thumbnail. Whee! Oh, are you on the East Coast? Why did I think you were somewhere else? It's 926 here. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I'd be more of a night person, but I gotta get up at 5 in the morning every day. So. I'll probably be calling it quits here pretty soon. Been streaming for almost two and a half hours. Not too bad. Got a lot of done. A lot of stuff done. Probably publish this video on Saturday. Ah, North Carolina. Very good. Why did I think you were overseas? I'm weird. Not like way overseas, but enough to be kind of a time difference. Hey, it's new. Very weird. 40. So we got 40 orange blocks from that. We'll see how much more we can get. Whee! North Carolina. Whee! Hmm, how am I going to get up there? <laughs> this is the problem. This is a new project in my survival Minecraft world. So we're building the Golden Gate Bridge because the Golden Gate Bridge is featured in a lot of movies and television. Usually in bad ways, usually it gets uh, roughed up. This is just partial builds on some of this, so that'll be thicker, that'll be thicker. Of course, i got to put all these cables in, so I just wanted to do a few to show you guys that. Built the road, and this is just one quarter of it. So this would be the end of the bridge that connects you to land, and then the rest of the bridge including the second tower, would be in this general direction. But we're not going to build that. We're just going to build this. And basically because I got tired of my tiny little bridge that went across between these two things. So I decided to go big or go home. So now we have a bridge that can take us all the way over here. It's overkill, but I like it. So yeah, same world. It's a different project. Uh, let's see. This is just a bad idea. I don't know why. I'm doing this the way I'm doing this. Yeah, so the orcas over there, guardians over there. Oh, cool. We got us up to this level. Not too shabby. Oh yeah, this needs to be shorter by two. There we go. Whee! Whoa, smacked our face right off of the bottom of the ocean. Um, this is the same world as before. So yeah, this is the same world that I got in with the Guardians. So yeah, this is our, our Guardian thing. Uh, the Orca, the ship from Jaws over here that I built in my last video. I had a little bridge that basically went from here to here. And I thought, well, I need a, bit, a better bridge. 
my original idea was to build a bridge. There's a underneath here. Um, there's water that goes from there to there. So I thought, oh, I'll build another bridge. And I thought about building like a tiny version of the Golden Gate Bridge. But then I started uh, building this in creative and it got out of hand. So this is how this came about. Our very own Golden Gate Bridge, which has meaning. Uh, kind of talked about a couple movies that I've already seen this year. So Godzilla uh, features the Golden Gate Bridge. Also, uh, the new Planet of the Apes movie has the Golden Gate Bridge in it. So it's a very iconic uh, movie bridge. So I kind of thought, yeah, this is pretty much becoming Universal Studios. So I'm just going to keep building every movie set. So this is basically a, a, a backlot of a movie set. Studio backlot is kind of how this is turning out to be. So I used reference images. So this will be the only side of the bridge that we build. But I kind of wanted something a little bit more epic here in this world outside of just a very detailed bridge there and then eventually this will go away and we'll build underground. <laughs> the Terminator ride. Also love Easter, baby. Worst Terminator ever. So yeah, I kind of think I'm running out of steam, guys. Uh, it's been a long day. I don't know if I'll be doing any more streaming this weekend, but... That is, uh, this is way more than I actually ever really thought I'd get in two hours, so. Oh, Universal Studios. Oh, gosh. Uh, Earthquake, the King Kong ride, uh, the backdraft uh, thing, and this is all Hollywood stuff. Uh, there was the Beetlejuice uh, interactive show. Of course, um, T3 was not the best. T3 was kind of bad. It was really bad, actually. Uh, the Jaws ride, of course, during the tour. All sorts of stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's, I think, as far as we're going to get with today's live stream. Again, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having fun. Thanks for the conversation. Thanks for just keeping me entertained as I tackle this new project. I'm sure we'll get this done before the next live stream. Appreciate those that have subscribed. You'll get those notifications when we start all over again. But, uh, yeah, again, thanks for coming on by here. Enjoying yourselves. Hope you guys have a good Friday ahead of you or a good weekend if you're watching this a little bit later. And until uh, next time, this is JPG with the Golden Gate Bridge. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that view. I like it. I like it. And yes, Jordan, thank you for coming by, keeping me entertained with your sarcasm and fun. <laughs> and everyone else, again, I do appreciate it. Way too many people to list here in the chat. So until next time, this is JPT. Go play your games. And I'll be seeing ya.